This video is about calculating the elapsed days difference and the percentage difference between that which was planned on the baseline and that which has in fact elapsed. The project in front of you has a start date, let's just note, a start date 20, uh, for the 4th of February 2022. Notice what is key here is that there is no state of state and I will address that a bit later. So we're going to add some customized columns, some of which might seem a little strange, but we'll be explaining that. The first customized column we're going to be adding is a number column, and that number column we will rename duration. Now I know the column duration already exists, but there's a reason we create a separate one. So we're going to say duration in days. We're now going to add a formula to that particular field. And the formula is a simple formula rendered as such. Now, once again, there we go. And we will see five days, one week, two days, two days. Why, you may ask, are we adding that column? That is because Microsoft Project originally calculates duration by virtue of minutes, believe it or not. This calculates it by virtue of days, and we need that in order to work out the percentage between planned days and elapsed days. Now we're going to add a new column. Oh, we don't have the summaries. Let's just add that. So what we do is we go back here, custom fields, and we add the formula to the summaries as well. There we go. Right now, we're going to add another column. This column is going to involve a very elaborate formula. Let's go to number. And let's uh, rename this field elapsed days. Let's put a formula in and we're about to see that MS Project has a small bug here, but nothing serious. Watch. When we click OK, we get this error. To fix this error, strangely, we just need to retype that little entry there. Notice, second time round, it will accept it. Now, one will notice that there are a whole lot of errors there. And that's simply because, let's just, uh, we'll do the summaries later. That's simply because we have no reference point. We need a status state. So let's go back to project, project information, and set the status state as today. And there we go. It says zero because it's starting today and no days have elapsed. However, should we change the start date to yesterday, perhaps? There we go. Now it should say elapsed days one day, and this is a total stuff. Once again, a total stuff. Let's just hide the column and insert the column again. Let's just set the baseline again. Aha, uh -huh. it really depends on setting the baseline. There we go. So two days have elapsed. That would be Thursday and Friday. Okay. All right, two days have elapsed. Okay, let's go back and let's set the custom field again to include the summary rows. There we go. All right. Now the third, the third formula is going to be another. Uh, it's in fact going to be a uh, another number field, and we are going to 
go to number three over here and go to custom fields and into this one this one we are going to put percentage so rename a percentage complete okay over here and here we're going to put in a simple formula and that formula is going to be num number two divide by number one And let's use it in the summary rows as well. Notice 0.4% of the entire duration. Okay. Well, not 0.4%. That's 25%. Um, okay. All right. Now we want to render that as a proper format. And we add yet another column. And this one will be a text column. And the text column is going to have the following formula. Let's rename it percentage total. Let's put a formula in, and that formula will be format. There we go. All right. There we go. Percentage total. All right. Now let's compare that to the percentage complete that is in MS Project. And notice that is different over there. All right. If I were to go here and to mark on track, all right, that would change there too. Okay, that's the difference. I have to mark that on track. Let's go back to 0% over there. All right, so there we have our three fields. Duration in days, elapsed days, so two days have elapsed since the, uh, since the beginning because we, we took it back, remember, the percentage complete, then the proper percentage, and of course that one um, we is the normal MS project option.